Moose is pooping. Should I take a picture of it? Yep, I did. Hi, good morning. It's uh, late November, which is good moose season here in Grand Teton National Park. So I am going to look for moose this morning. Uh, there are hunters out here. Yes, I'm in Grand Teton National Park and there's hunters. It makes no sense, I get it. Uh, I'm not going to explain the whole thing with that, but there are there are a bunch of uh, people out here shooting elk. So I need to be careful. That's why I want to kind of stay close to the road here. Because if I get far away from the road, I'm going to be in the kill zone. Uh, but I digress. Anyway, I'm looking for moose. Not seeing any yet. Um, but the mountains look beautiful this morning. Covered in fresh snow, and there's a few little lingering clouds kind of stuck to the mountain. It's it's really pretty. And then over here, the sky's starting to get a little pink and beautiful. Oh, now I just gotta find a way to make an interesting photograph out of that. Yeah, there's a ton of moose out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 10 moose right out there, but they're a few hundred yards off the road, which isn't ideal in this hunting area of a national park. I'm gonna have to look somewhere else, I think. These guys are all a little too far away. This is a nice added bonus here. I pulled over just to shoot a little kind of B-roll footage of this moose. And when I rolled down my window, there's a wolf howling right out here and I can't see him. And it's, uh, I'm not sure it's gonna be loud enough, but I, I've set up the microphone here on my camera to try and pick up the wolf howling, but it's always such a super cool treat to hear a, a wild wolf howling. I can't see the wolf. And I haven't heard any of its uh, pack members howling either, but that's really cool. Glad to be able to hear that this morning. I hope this microphone picked it up, but I have a feeling it didn't. This moose knows where the wolf is. He can, he'll graze for a minute and then he'll turn and look. So he's aware that there are wolves around. It's making him a little nervous. He, He's a big, strong, healthy bull, so he doesn't have anything to worry about right now. But he's definitely on the lookout for it. But it's getting gorgeous out now. The sky's gotten all pink and beautiful. And hopefully you can see that. Just super pretty. It's a shame I don't have a situation to really include the animal in that whole scene. And then over here the Tetons are getting pink. I'm, I'm going to get out of my car and just shoot a couple of snapshots of that as well. So pretty. Alright, so I'm back in the car, uh, just shot a few kind of, I'd call them like snapshots of the Tetons here. Uh, the light was just gorgeous, um, just really beautiful pastel-y, pinky, peachy, orange, um, really 
just spectacular and um, just soft and colorful and beautiful. And I don't know, can I come up with any more words? But you'll see the pictures. Uh, the light is gorgeous and, it, and it's all around you and just encompasses you. It's it's really neat and that's what happened out here uh, where I am there's no like foreground element it's just sagebrush and then the mountains so I just got the beautiful snow covered mountains and then some of the color basically and it's it, you know the photos will be pretty but it's just spectacular to be here kind of enveloped in all that color uh, it was just gorgeous um, but I'm back in the car now this moose is still grazing right out here and now I'm just gonna wait it's a great potential. I'm going to hang out here with this guy for a while. In the meantime, the Tetons are just fantastic. I'm not sure. Yeah, this camera isn't going to really pick it up. Ah, no, I can't make it work to get over there. But they're lit up beautifully right now. But just spectacular to be out this morning. Um, even though I'm kind of stuck in my car here because I don't want to get shot by... <laughs> The hail of bullets raining down upon the elk herds. Uh, it's great to be out here, and I'll stay, stay close to the road and be, be safe out here. So pretty! I'm on my way back to pick up my little camera that I did a time lapse with this morning. And I think that was probably a pretty nice time lapse because it should have captured the the beautiful kind of alpen glow color all the way through till now. And like the spectacular bright bright white mountains with the dark cloudy background as well. So I think that'll be a nice time lapse. Maybe we should watch it right now. Looking straight into the sun. I've got the moose between myself and the sun. Yeah, this has really good potential. Come on, light. It's coming. I need that pose. Hold that pose. Yep, his head, head is back down in the sagebrush. But, uh... I'm going to be shooting at uh, wide open f6.3 on this lens. This is a Sigma 100 to 400, and I'm going to shoot at. I'm going to start at minus one stop on exposure compensation. Uh, I'm going to shoot at ISO 400, and I'll dial that back as the light level comes up. So I'm going to be looking for an interesting pose, kind of uh, hoping for some breath lighting up, some misty breath. Maybe some snot coming out of his nose, and for his antlers, kind of the rim light on the antlers would be super beautiful. Okay, he's in a really nice spot here. If he lifts his head and looks this way, it'd be awesome. I'm going to stop down to f8 to get a little more depth of field here. Looking real good with a four hundredth of a second. I can see his breath. This is a perfect setup. Just need a need a nice pose here from the moose. So far, not so good here. The the sun's going behind some clouds. He's moving a little further away, which is a bummer. So the light's going away and he's going away. It's not a, not a good scene. All right, that moose wandered off. So now I'm gonna go look for other stuff. OK, 
Hey, there's a kingfisher out here. He doesn't seem to like people and he's not in a great spot. Okay, this kingfisher came back. He's just sitting on a perch here, so I'm waiting for something to happen, but at least he's not flying away from me anymore. He came in now that I've been sitting here quiet for a while. And he seems to be hunting again, so that's cool. I'm shooting at ISO 1600 F5 and 1 hundredth of a second. So he's silhouetted right now, sitting on a stick on a branch against a fairly bright cloudy sky behind him. He's getting no direct sunlight. And I'm shooting at plus two on exposure compensation and just taking those white clouds right to the edge of uh, being blown out. So making them as bright white as I can get so that his silhouette isn't completely dark because I want to see some of the detail in his feather and his coloration. And other than that, I'm just waiting. I've got a nice high shutter speed. So if the bird flies, I need to be right on the shutter button. And now mostly it's just waiting and hopefully I'm not looking away and talking to the camera when he decides to fly away. Because that happens all the time. Darn. He turned and flew away from me on that. So that did not work out. That's how it goes. I sat and I waited and I didn't get the shot. <laughs> okay. I reached up to press record on the thing and he went right down in the water after a fish. Just without fail. Those birds, they, they see me doing that and I missed the shot. All right, we've got light in the valley and a big herd of sheep that just came down right to the road. So I'm gonna park here, try and rattle off a couple of photos. I made a few shots of the big horns. Um, a couple of big rams were out and then uh, a big, a nice big herd of ewes with their lambs. So that was pretty cool. And uh, no headbutting today yet. So I'm gonna try, it's still morning. Um, I'm gonna go back to town for a little while and then I'm gonna come back this afternoon and see if the rams are getting active and you know, wanna fight a little bit. That's kind of the action I'm really looking for. So 
Hopefully I get that. If I don't, so be it. I'll try anyways. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day. See ya.